Julie Lemieux says she was elected because people in her community wanted change. <laughs> when she won, she beat out the five-term mayor before her. She says she's proud to be the first openly transgender mayor in Canada. But even more proud to be the first woman elected mayor here since the town was founded in 1881. Très saint rédempteur is a rural community about an hour from Montreal. It has deep Catholic roots, but it's changed a lot since its beginnings. Lemieux says the town's 900 residents were looking for someone to improve the municipality and says the fact she's transgender wasn't part of that equation. She says it shows people in rural areas are open-minded and shouldn't be seen as out of touch just because they don't live in cities. Now, she says she's ready to get to work with fellow councillors like Willy Mouzon. We don't see Julie as the first transgender or transsexual, I don't know what, what the word they use, but it's Julie. It's, uh, you, you know, we never think about it. But not everyone supported Lemieux's platform. Still, even some who didn't vote for her say it's not because she's transgender. Well, that was the least, the least of the, uh, of the issues in the campaign. Maybe it might have been in the back of some people's mind, but it sure wasn't on mine. I, I just didn't, I don't trust her as far as being able to do a good job. But those who did vote for her say they like her vision of the town's future and say this is a sign of openness. I think it opens up the door for anybody who feels different in society or has that different stamp on them. I think it opens up the door for them to really just know, hey, small town, big town, it doesn't matter if you want to do something, it doesn't matter who you are, do it. Oui, il y a quelque chose un peu d'exceptionnel. Lemieux says this isn't the start of a movement, but the result of years of work by many to build tolerance in communities across the country. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Très saint rédempteur Québec. So the trend towards tolerance seems to stretch from rural Quebec all the way down under, but there is a lot of contested territory in between. So this map shows the 13 places in the world where same-sex sexual activity is punishable by death. Now let's take a look at the 75 places where homosexual acts are officially seen as criminal acts. And maybe the most chilling, seven places where there are brand new threats to LGBTQ rights that speak to a backslide where authorities are cracking down or taking names or pushing for a legal ban on same-sex activity. For example, just last month, Tajikistan started an official registry of gay citizens. They will reportedly be forced to undergo tests for sexually transmitted infections.